Okay, I'm going to show you how to how to different ways to tie your string. So you'll have to ignore all the extra strings I have on here. But if you just want to wrap your string around the axle without any kind of hook like this, get it back here. You don't want to just sit here and wrap the string like this and around and around. You do that a little bit, but this is all the string you really need. You need to get the string over top of itself like this so it's on itself. and Keep doing that and you'll need your partner, maybe if you have a partner, have some help to help slowly pull back on this. But you want the string always to be tight. And then back down here, you see how I'm going over top of the string again. And then you get to a certain point where you can actually let go of that. And if that slips like that, it means you didn't have it wrapped enough time or tight enough. If you're using fishing line, it'll be a little more slippery. But now I'm to the point, oh, never mind, I'm not to the point. I'm doing these mistakes on purpose so you can see what ha might happen to you. Okay, so you see I've got it kind of sideways, it'll go over top of itself a few times. Now I can let go, and you see it's tight enough, and then I can just wind it up like this. Some people put it on the ground and just roll it up, okay? And then you just let it go and it goes, okay? Now another option is to put a little hole. I just use a little part of the mousetrap thing, uh, put a 16th inch hole in there, tap that in. If you put a loop in your string like uh, this string has and this string has, then you can just get that loop over top of the little hook there and then it just winds itself up. And as long as when it unwinds that loop falls off of there, usually have a string a little longer, it won't get caught on there and wind back up and stop it. Now to tie a loop in your string, just get your string like this, have plenty, and then, I don't know how well this will turn out, but tie it around and then through that loop you just made, and then that gives you a loop to tie it on. And then you can hook that on to your string. And then one other thing I wanted to explain, some people say the internet says, oh, my wheels will go back and forth and touch the body, so I need to put something, like people will wrap tape right here, up against the body. Well, now you've got tape rubbing against the body, and that's way worse. That's why I have ridiculously wide axles, so that if it does drift as it goes down the hall, it'll take a while before it starts rubbing there. Okay, So, that's it.